Welcome everyone. Today, we'll dive into the world of MaxiBlox containers. Let's begin by understanding the building blocks, containers, rows, and columns. The container shown here in green, think of it as a box on your web page. It holds all the other content you want to arrange in a specific way, like sections with text, images, buttons, or even other nested containers. Here in black is the row. A row acts like a horizontal slice within a container, similar to dividing the container horizontally. You can stack multiple rows on top of each other for a multi-row layout. And the three columns shown here with a red dotted line around them. A column is a vertical section within a row, like dividing the row vertically. You can have multiple columns side by side to structure your content within each row. Common layouts use one, two, three, or even 12 columns, depending on the layout. Creating your first container. Click the plus icon to add a new block and search for container. Choose a grid layout from the available options using the column picker. Adjust the number of columns in the sidebar settings. For this example, we'll increase it to three and select the three even column layout. Styling your container. Click the container to select it. Open the background layer settings and choose a color like green. Use the breadcrumbs and select the row. Now assign a different color like gray. Select the container and add padding, space inside the section, on the top and bottom. Adding a background image. Background images are typically applied to the container itself. You can set it to cover, so the image fills the entire width. Styling individual columns. Select the first column and assign a background color like white. Copy and paste these styles to the other two columns for consistency. Adjust the spacing between columns, alignment of content within columns, and spacing around the container for better visual hierarchy and separation. Adding content. Click inside the container to start adding blocks like text, images, buttons, and more. Understanding the grid structure. While adding content, use the document view to understand the structure. Remember, MaxiBlocks follows a container row column hierarchy. Container, outermost element holding everything. Row, horizontal sections within the container. Column, vertical sections within a row holding your content. By mastering MaxiBlocks containers, you unlock creative possibilities for your website layouts. Experiment with different configurations and explore the full potential of MaxiBlocks. If you found this helpful, leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more website building tips.